Alright guys, I'm back. Well done, Sergeant. It's more than likely the Germans will have set up a roadblock ahead, so we'll move through the forest and hook up with Abel. right decision by swapping my standard rifle for this sniper rifle. Well, I'm probably not. I don't know when I'll find more ammunition for this thing. Hold on, hold on. 
up with the squad. Okay, I'm right here. Come on! This way! I think I might actually make it home from this lousy war.
probably going to just miss. Actually, a valid.
problem. Yes.
one of them. Only one left! I think we got them all. Gentlemen. There's our armor! Smitty! We did it! Ha <laughs> Outstanding. I think we got them all. Look! Go, go, go! <laughs> Fine job, Sergeant. You do this division proud. Excuse me. By August of 1944, following their success over the merciless German defenders on Omaha Beach, the division advances an average of 20 miles a day and eventually make their way to Germany's doorstep. Breaching the heavily fortified Siegfried Line on September 12th, the division crosses into Germany for the first time. In brutal house-to-house -house fighting, they capture Aachen on October 21st, the first German city to fall. That winter, in an act of desperation, Germany launches a massive offensive in the Ardennes, and the Big Red One is tasked with holding the line in what would later be known as the Battle of the Bulge. Eventually fighting their way back into Germany by January of 1944, they cross the Rhine River and continue to advance across Germany. The division finds itself in Czechoslovakia on May 8, 1945, when the war in Europe is finally over as Germany surrenders. In 443 days of combat, the division had suffered over 20,000 casualties. By the war's end, they had taken more than 100,000 prisoners and received 16 medals of honor, as well as the distinction of being America's most accomplished fighting division of the Second World War. From the early battles in the deserts of North Africa, to the rolling hillsides of Sicily, and into the darkest days of occupied France, the members of the Big Red One had been ordinary soldiers tasked with truly extraordinary deeds. Their commitment to success at all costs is reflected in their motto. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. Well, that was a fitting uh, cutscene. I'm not watching these uh, credits. Yeah, the game is finished. I'm going to go. Hold on a second. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on one second. Sorry about this. Ah, oh, nuts. Well done, Sergeant. Sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to give my final thoughts. You guys can leave, do whatever you want to do. I'm going to ramble for at least, at least three minutes. At least. Just want to flap my gums real quick. Turn the music off. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> it's good to finally get the ball rolling. I was actually supposed to. I was actually I was actually supposed to finish 
this let's uh the this set of let's plays a while ago because I started on I started doing war let's plays or like war games or war shooters or whatever you want to call it and I had like seven six or seven games that I wanted to do but I kind of got distracted I did like three of them I did conflict desert storm desert storm 2 and conflict Vietnam and I had this game show shock Nam something and medal of honor <clears throat> European assault left and I was like I'm kind of tired of the war theme and a little bit of let's playing so I took a little break for like two months <clears throat> vacation time was coming up in June and I was like these let's plays may be kind of short because I looked up uh, the links of all of the games that I wanted to let's play on howlongtobeat.com they're just estimates it's not 100% accurate and I was like well all the let's plays that I want to do are under 10 hours I could do this in a week if I really try <clears throat> got distracted with stuff and never did it went on vacation uh, got back was distracted uh, from, va from vacation just played uh, my handhelds and other other stuff <clears throat> excuse me and then I got distracted again but whatever anyways I'm back now <clears throat> and it's uh, it usually when I come back to let's play it's always like the first let's play getting that first let's play getting getting that out of the way and you know usually the ball starts rolling or I start gaining a little momentum after that and uh yeah that's what I that's lost my train of thought anyways <clears throat> I want to do after this let's play I'm going to try and do a shell shock nom what is the shell shock nom uh 67 and then if all goes well I'll do that one and I will do a, a medal of honor European assault That'll be three. Normally I do four, but I'm going to well, I want to stick with just three for now. So that'll be three, and then I'll upload. And even though I haven't been doing, even though I haven't been doing uh, adventure let's plays for, I'd say almost a year or nine months, my list has still been growing. I've been finding games on my shelf, adventure games, <coughs> and a few strategy games that I actually want to do. I mean, I mean, they were always there. I just had to look for them. So even though I'm not doing adventure games right now, <clears throat> my list is continually growing, and I will be coming back to adventure games sometime this year. <clears throat> Maybe sooner than I think, or sooner than I'd like. But uh, we'll see. It'll either be in October or maybe in somewhere between October and November. I have a lot of adventure games I want to, I want to do. I even have a few action RPGs that I want to do. I I I count those as adventure games as well. Well, I I don't, but for my let's plays, you know, I'm going to the categories are just going to be shooters and adventure games. <clears throat> I may I may make a uh, action RPG slot, but uh, that's about it. <clears throat> Until next time, this is Inquisitor Eisen on Overlip saying. That my birthday is past. It's now twelve. It's now t Thursday, uh, October Thursday, August third, two thousand seventeen, twelve or eight a.m. I'm going to start my next let's play. Maybe right now I may do uh, one mission or so, and then finish up later on today. And uh, hopefully I can knock that one out. And, uh, what else? I forgot what I was going to say. Ho hopefully, I can, you know, finish uh, Shell Shock Nam and move on to uh, Medal of Honor European Assault. <clears throat> and I will be comparing the two Medal of Honor and uh, Call of Duty. I enjoyed this game quite a bit. <clears throat> I don't know what the feel is I get from playing these games but these the war games you know like since I like shooters 
they have a certain feel. It's a certain. It's 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 a, it's a good feeling. <clears throat> it's a good feeling. It's a. I guess since I'm a since I'm a uh, FPS fanatic, uh, I'm kind of weird like that. But yeah, playing these games from the sixth generation and getting a chance to record it and share the experience. Uh, it, feel, it feels really good, especially when I play uh, these old uh, war games. <clears throat> but anyways, I will see you guys in my next Let's Play, which will be Shellshock Nam 67. And uh, sorry to talk you guys ears off. If, if you don't like it, you can always leave or jump to my next Let's Play or whatever. But anyways, I'm done talking. See you in Shellshock Nam 67 for the PlayStation 2. Bye-bye.